Hello YouTube. Um, how you doing? Right? Good. Um, they're coming out now. The videos, new stuff is sort of progressing nicely. I'd say. Um, yeah, and um, because I made a two-year compilation video, and the reason I did that is that I really feel that I'd have this two-year journey and that some of the things that were coming up was like stuff that was sort of coming to me two years ago. Um, the latest one is Be Gentle, you know, so that came to me when I was sort of feeling my heart and helped by some comments someone else made and I said, you know, this time when I could feel that God could be gentle. Like, obviously, the first time you feel God, you wouldn't describe it as gentle. You'd describe it as <laughs> awesome, amazing, and, and you know, and each time you do feel God fully, it is awesome, amazing, and everything. But there was, a, you know, God, God can be gentle, and... We should be gentle. It's good to be gentle, and you and you feel that in your heart, and sort of be gentle with your heart. So anyway, so this was coming up, and you know, I I know I've got it written in a scrapbook. I can remember the last when I, you know, about two years ago ish. That was something that came to me then as well. And there was uh, there was something else which I've forgotten now. <laughs> Anyway, all to do with sort of, you know, the feelings. And so you could, so I so I did think when I got kind of round to that first two years and I thought, like, it's two years, like, you could think, oh, you know, journey's over. But when I think about over the last two years, really, I've mainly been about getting the truth on things because there's been so many things that I haven't had answers to and knowing that you can feel God feel the truth you can have the answers to everything and that was the the journey the journey was sort of feeling the truth about things and then you know the the effects that has on your life because you know your belief system is is part of your soul and what you take to believe is true will play out with your with your soul it's why if you believe something untrue that can cause fear in your heart because it's wrong because it's error so that's the most important thing is truth, which I've said many times. And, you know, AJ and Mary doing their, their course and their sort of, like, you have to grow your will. <laughs> you, know, get, you know, grow your will a bit. Well, your will will be in the right direction if you've got the right understanding. It's about understanding. And your will will be what your will will be. And like they say, you can't force it. You can't force yourself. And then they go on about addictions and stop the addictions. And they say, but don't use your willpower. <laughs> but people sometimes need something. They might need it for a reason. And we're all on a different part of the, you know, our journey to God is all, all individual to us. So the thing is, is to get the right understanding. So you start from a point of knowing you can feel truth and you can feel God's truth. That's the truth you can feel. That's like the Holy Spirit. But to get there, you have to get yourself into a, into a proper state, you know. You have to get a, a clean mind, so you have to realise if you're lying to yourself or denying stuff there are clues if you're denying something memory blockouts can't remember that's a type of denial 
lying to yourself, you'd sort of know if you sat down and were honest with yourself, spent a bit of time on your own. It's what you've got to do to get there. Yeah. So what was I saying? <laughs> I can't remember why I made this video now. So, yes, that's it. <laughs> so for me, the two years journey, and now come like coming back on the same things again, but now I've got so much more truth, and so that I'm I'm getting the same sort of be gentle that sort of stuff is coming through to me, but it's now on different subjects. It's you know it's now more about soul and what's how the soul works, you know. So I was just sort of sitting there. So I've been feeling this feeling this pain, and I think AJ hinted to it, um, but he's sort of when he's saying like your pain is the greatest thing, and according to God, you know our pain is the greatest thing. And he did talk about it being from generational past. So it's it's our pain. It's 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 the sin that still exists in the world. And um, so this is what I've been doing. I've been feeling it. And um, when so. And I've, what I've noticed is quite often when I get the pain coming into the soles of my feet, it's it's because I've had a thought about you know, but people cruelty to animals, and that actually that was just this most recent one. That's a bit, it's a big one, it's a big one. I couldn't do, right? But I didn't sort of notice that at the start, but I I've begun to notice it. So you you know I tend to sit there. And just allow whatever thoughts come into my mind, just allow them. And 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 it's kind of governed by the heart. But the heart can shut up on me. And I have to be real sensitive to feel my heart. And when I'm feeling my heart, I mean, it's good. Anyway, so I can get this pain in the soles of my feet. And I can, and through, you know, it's taken a long time, right? Um, over a year of trying to guess what it was or whatever and it wouldn't always come and it wasn't consistent but so I'm starting to see how it's coming up and it's the, the thoughts anyway so I'm sensitive in my heart I'm feeling my heart and I understand what it is and and then it kind of just comes comes up into my heart and it just it's just it's a nice feeling and it's quite different. Sometimes it's at the front. Sometimes it's at the back. It's not always the same at all. It's it's very very interesting. And Dara, if he put in his comment that he's been getting this as well, and I asked him when it started, and he hasn't spoken to me. I'm leaving him alone. But so you know, I, I did sort of send an email, just sort of say you know to feel it with your heart and stuff accept it as kind of a gift. So I was thinking like when I've got the will to do it and 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 sometimes I have to stop and sometimes I go all the way through but I go all the way through and then just some more comes. And I kind of did say to God at one point, you know, because at one point I was seeing how much intensity I could take and stuff and and I was feeling it in my heart, but I'm understanding it more about being being gentle with the heart. And I, because before I was panting and my neck was going up like that and stuff, and it worked for a little bit. But obviously, you know, after that, I'm I'm shattered and I couldn't do it. And when I was just sort of being gentle, then it was just happening, and I was just being being gentle, being calm and. And it, and it then then I can really feel it working. Then I can really say this is something that is happening. This isn't just you know made up imagination. There there's actually something happening here. And uh, 
you know, otherwise I would have stopped doing it. So I wanted to say, you know, any help on this would be much appreciated. If anyone has an experience where they get pain on the soles of their feet and they're kind of able to feel it as a gift, something from God, and they can feel it in their heart, and then the, the pain goes. I mean, some more might come, but that particular pain that was there is gone. Gone. <laughs> so, yeah. I know the battery might be running out. Yeah, it is. No, I don't know, a good bit more. Um, yeah. So that's the uh, thing I've been spending a lot of time <laughs> doing, and it sounds absolutely crazy, ridiculous. But um, I feel it. So I keep doing it. Just thinking, yeah, no, like, I do want to, <laughs> you know, uh, thinking about will and it's it's so, so much simpler. It's so much simpler. Your your heart is your will. You know, you feel passionate about something, and yeah, it's all from the heart. It is what it is. You can't change it can keep denying it and you allow allow everything all the thoughts that come into your mind is from your heart if you just sit there you know okay other people can send you thoughts it's true it's true so you can be you can be um, yeah, under somebody else's will but when you know you're in your will, <laughs> you know you're you know you're being you and you're not having outside influences. Then whatever comes up is from your heart. It's for you to deal with. And just be and that then you become yourself. Sincere. And you can feel your heart. And if a negative emotion comes up, you just feel, decide you're going to feel it. Anyway. But yeah, so it's not complicated. But the foundation is your truth, your belief system. And the truth is sweet, bitter. You know, when you first feel the truth, it's like, wow, cool, got this truth, awesome, awesome. Like me when I like realised the name of God is Jesus and Maria. <laughs> that was something I wanted to say, change Maria. Feel it, you try feel it, you tell me. Feel Mother God's name's Mary. And then go, Mother God's name is Maria. You try feeling it. And Mother's God love comes from beneath. <laughs> and yeah, Father God's from above. Father God Jesus. Anyway, I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> Probably battery will run out. So, what was I going to say? Can you remind me? Can you remember? <laughs> anyway, that's good one, isn't it? Jesus and Maria. What was I saying now? Anyway. Oh, yeah. Feeling the truth? No. See, I can't, like, go rewind and listen. That was solid. Yeah, I'll put it in the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>